Today I received a bunch of the parts that I was waiting for. One of them is the oil return line that we need to put into the mid oil pan, which is this guy here. Um, so Toyota has a, a pretty cool thing, which you see here. Uh, there's this shape. We, you open this hole all the way, and then on this here, you just poke holes and tread, and this here will handle this screw. I decide though to just get a normal um, oil return thing and I'm gonna poke a hole in the middle I'm gonna make the tread, I'm gonna drill um, tread this down and then tie it from the inside. Um, so yeah we're gonna do that together now. So I'm going to use this Christmas tree bit, I don't know how else this is called, and there are some markers in, inside telling me what size it is, and we are going all the way to 5 eighths. I'm going to stop a little earlier, and what I did is I mark in red in here, I don't know if you can see a little bit, but it's right in here, so I'm going to go down until it reaches this point. Let's do it. So what we're going to do now, we just clean this a little bit, just to take some of this stuff out of here. And we are going to get this tap tool in here, a 13 millimeter, and some grease. I have a high temp grease, I, I, of course it doesn't need to be high temp, uh, but this is what I'm going to use. Um, this is going to help. Uh, make the hole, make the hole and not uh, screw the tool, make it slide better and also it's gonna uh, grab all this stuff and uh, help us a little. So we need to go uh, probably a turn, we do a once, twice, so it's not, it's not grabbing yet. So once it grabs, I'm gonna do two turns like this and then one turn back to be sure that it cleans up and my tread will be there. There you go. Um, so the good thing about this is like the wall is very thick, which is great. And if you clean this a little bit, yeah, look at how much material it came out. And here you see, look at that. Perfect. And tight. So now let's use some brake cleaner just to take the uh, oil out of there, the, the grease. Yeah, there you go. So I have uh, three rolls of thread or something like that. It's much more than I had on uh, my Eclipse, which is, sits right in here. All right, so don't bother the other parts on the floor. It's just uh, part of the build. Um, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get this ultra gray. I'm gonna open it, it's brand new. Yeah, I don't need this thing right now. So what I'll do is I'm gonna Put the gasket, there's a gasket that comes with it with, with a little piece of rubber which works as a O-ring and I'm gonna put that guy in there and I will put a lot of gasket in here because this is not gonna go through and while this is out of the car I have control so I don't mind. I'm gonna close it. I think I put a little too much, but that's fine. Uh, so I'm gonna get that, and I'm gonna start screwing in there. 
Let me clean my hands, otherwise this goes everywhere. There you go. And the in inside is clean, which means it got everything is in the tread. So now I'm going to get a, probably is a 21. And now I'm going to use a 24 millimeter and I'm going to um, press this here. Oh yeah. Until I can't anymore. And there you go. That's all I need to do. Um, if you were... If you did good enough, there you go. Uh, in the back here, you see that your oil tap is coming back here. Uh, you would be able to put a nut. My nut won't go there because it has a lip in here. And of course I didn't center very well. So just because of a millimeter or so, it doesn't go. So I would need to grind this here and go from the inside and tap just to be kind of safe uh, but it's good I mean this is gonna hold very well the only thing is this is aluminum so don't exaggerate too much when you when you tie this but yep but that's it uh, I did enough and that's it so I just want to say uh, one thing that you need to be aware of. Just pay attention that this goes like this, and this tab gotta be, um, let's say, 90 degrees or whatever. Not, not 90 degrees like this. It gotta be 45 degrees or even uh, zero degrees. Let's call um, because this this doesn't have pressure when it comes back to the pan. So. If there is something and it goes like on a balloon that goes down and up again, that's going to have like oil staying there, then you turn off the car, oil is in there. So I mean you don't want that. You want all the oil to drip straight in there. So uh, Toyota thankfully like I said has this little spot that is made for it, So which is for the turbo. So we just use that spot. But you know in case you're trying to be a genius and do it on the pan or somewhere, just be aware that you can't do like this you need to do like 45 degrees or straight down uh, in there so yeah that was pretty easy it's pretty simple video I hope you subscribe to my channel uh, if you're not subscribed yet just hit the subscribe button real quick I'm doing a bunch of stuff um, right now I'm going to install this here on that block which is out there and I'm ready to do a bunch of stuff once this engine is ready it goes to my drift car um, and you know, if you've been following me, it's just blah 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 blah. Shut up, Marcus. And you don't you know the drill, guys. Like, share, comment, check out my website www.carmodsgarage.com, and I'll see you on the next video.